Hey everybody, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be doing some charcuterie. We're going to be curing a pork loin in this Get Her Done episode. And so I know some of you are subscribed specifically to see charcuterie videos, and I haven't done one in a while. So let's go ahead and change that today. This is the center cut of the loin, and uh, not the center cut, but this is the center part of the loin as all the external muscles from the loin have been removed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit better and remove some of that silver skin, remove any of the loose pieces that the butcher left behind so that I can get a completely clean cut and uh, we can weigh it. now. The cool thing about charcuterie is that you can almost do whatever you want when it comes to curing meat. There's only a few simple rules that you have to follow. One is salt, one is cure, but outside of that, when it comes to flavor, you can get absolutely nuts. And as you're gonna see here today, we're gonna be curing this Canadian bacon style. So we're gonna be emulating Canadian bacon, but in the form of cured charcuterie. And so we're gonna be really having a fun time with this. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna clean that loin just like you saw, and we're going to go ahead and weigh it because the entire recipe is based off of the weight of that loin. And so I think this particular loin might weigh something like four pounds, um, roughly 1,800 grams. And I like to do everything in grams because it's certainly a lot more precise. So all you're going to do is you're going to weigh your muscle in grams and jot that weight down. All right. So once you have that weight, you're going to multiply each one of your seasonings by a percentage of that weight. So for instance, if your weight is 1800 grams and your salt is 2.75%, you're gonna multiply 1800 times 2.75% and that's how much salt you need. And so just do that for each one of the ingredients. And the only thing that I would suggest you not change in this recipe is the amount of salt that we add and the amount of cure that we add. I've did a huge test about a year ago on different salts ranging from 2.2% all the way to 3.2%. And what I found was that roughly about 2.5 to 2.75 with the addition of sugar uh, balances out the amount of salt and it keeps it safe for you to consume. And so notice I'm just mixing everything into one little bowl. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my maple syrup, which is gonna give it that Canadian bacon style uh, flavor. And I'm gonna go ahead and put one quarter cup for every four pounds. So if your loin is bigger or if your loin is smaller, I use a quarter cup for every four pounds or basically one tablespoon per pound. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. So at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and add our cure. And I wanna make sure any large pieces of seasoning are broken up and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on and massage it with my hands. And all we're doing right here is we're making sure that the loin is well coated, well covered on both sides. And I'm gonna massage that salt, that garlic powder, that you know, that brown sugar, that cure into the muscle. And we're gonna make sure that we flip it and we douse it with like that maple syrup marinade. We're just gonna to continue to do this. And I'm gonna do this for a couple of minutes. And once I feel that it is well incorporated, most of my seasonings are on the on the muscle itself, I'm just gonna put it in a vacuum seal bag. Now, if you don't have a vacuum sealer, there's a link in the description box below that uh, is a heck of a vacuum sealer especially if you're getting into charcuterie or freezer meals or long-term preservation of food. You know, if you're a hunter and you have, uh, you know, your kill that you want to, you want to put in the freezer, vacuum seal bags are great. Uh, this particular vacuum sealer is kind of a step up from your food saver, a little more commercial. And because this is the equilibrium cure, we're going to take all the extra seasoning and we're going to put it into the bag. The cool thing about the equilibrium cure is that it doesn't matter how much time you let it sit in your fridge, it's not going to get more salty. Unlike the salt box cure or the wet brine cure, then um, which takes up a lot of space, the equilibrium cure is based off of a percentage. So if I put 2.75% salt in this bag, the salt content of the pork is never going to increase past 2.75%. So all we're going to do now is vacuum seal it. And because of the size of this particular muscle, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for about 14 days. I'm gonna put a brine calculator in the description box below so that you can determine how much time you need to let yours sit in the fridge before you can proceed to the next step. But what I'm gonna do is label it, date it, pop it in the fridge. So stay tuned for episode two, where we're gonna take this guy out and we're gonna do a really cool koji experiment. Half of it's gonna be regular, half of it's gonna be koji, and we're gonna see which one tastes better. So thanks a lot, be sure to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.